Hi, Hi. Hi. How are you? I didn't know if you were greeting us or you were yeah. Yeah, saying the name of your outlet hey for a second. <laughs> so this series, it couldn't be any more relevant if it tried. You know, obviously expressing, uh, addressing Me Too and obviously the litany of hypocrisy in the political elite. Um, and it's intensely compelling as well. I mean, when you read that script, what made you want to be a part of it? And was there any reluctance? It was it was a really powerful story. I I I absolutely loved it. And like you say, it's it felt very current. Um, but on my part, there was no reluctance. I just I absolutely loved the character. Kate was just a fascinating character to to dive into. Um, and uh, and also, I just, uh, you know, I think David E. Kelly and Melissa Jane Gibson just did such a brilliant job of adapting it um, and making it into something that is, you know, incredibly current and will create conversation, but is also entertaining. Yeah. No, my only hesitation was that I think it was originally written as a tall, leggy blonde. <laughs> and I was like, or how about... A short little half Indian girl. Um, <laughs> no, yeah, there was no hesitation. I binge read the scripts. Um, and like Michelle said, I thought it was a fascinating story. And um, the character I thought was really interesting and complex and everything that she's going through um, and a new challenge for me and everyone involved. Um, SJ, of course, and talking to her and just, I really felt kind of like she understood my character and I felt kind of almost protected by, um, yeah, I felt protected by her in a way, or, or I felt like Olivia was in good hands with a with a director. And then just all these incredible, you know, actors that I get get to work with and watch and be like, ah, oh, wow, I'll steal that, you know, it was, <laughs> it was easy. Yeah. I mean, yeah, obviously, Michelle, you play Kate and Naomi, you play Olivia. Both your performances were brilliant, loved them. Um, but they were quite tough to watch because of your storylines as well, um, especially telling Naomi's, uh, retelling Naomi's experience on the on the court in court. Um, how do you even begin to approach those kind of scenes? Because they're quite mm. tough. Well, we had, we had uh, access, well, first of all, we had access to a, um, a fantastic prosecutor, a really a top barrister who um, we were able to uh, work with and I could, you know, liaise with her a lot about how to execute those scenes. Um, and those, you know, there was a lot of conversations, of course, about surrounding you know the subject um and i think it was done so carefully you know mm. in this show and and you know really that is that is you know really all comes from melissa jane gibson david e kelly and sj clarkson because they you know they were so passionate and and also sensitive of course about the issue itself that we were always able to sort of be an open conversation about how to play these scenes, how far to take them. Um, it, on a show like this, it's really important that you have all of the right voices kind of helping you um, perform it in a way that is authentic um, and feels as real as it could possibly be. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah, for me, I mean, we speak about this a lot. We we were on set, obviously, you've the it feels like a real courtroom obviously um and it was it was I, I was so nervous walking into that courtroom and i think it made me it opened my eyes even just a little bit to wow if me as an actor i'm doing my best i'm trying to play this role um it none of it's real to somebody having to you know walk into a courtroom um and talk about their trauma, not to a, a group of supportive people who are there to just, you know, to support them, but to a group of people who are trying to distinguish whether they're even, whether they're telling the truth. Mm. And that to me was like, it blew my mind. Um, and I, I, that's why I just, I think it's one of the bravest things you can do. And so, yeah, it was very much set up that I, I was nervous anyway. Um, and uh, yeah, but but also just kind of the, me learning as well to kind of cons conserve my energy and knowing when to yeah. kind of we needed you, you need levity i think in between those kind of more intense moments as well and so it's really great because you know we all really get on as a cast and you know having a little bit of a joke and a laugh in between those moments just allows you to 
and release some of that tension and then go again. Um, mm. And they were also, you know, they were like 15 minute long scenes really. Um, and it was almost like a play and, and credit to Michelle, you know, she's asking me the questions. So she has to remember, I'm just answering the question. So, you know, if I say yes or no, it's like either yes or no, pretty much, but to, to an extent. You don't get any clues. You don't so get no clues, yeah. question And she go, yes. Go, <laughs> Great. Okay. okay. <laughs> and the clue. end. <laughs> but they were, we, we've sort of performed those scenes like, a, like you would a play and, and SJ really encouraged that, you know, she wanted us just, just to keep running it. And, and as it, as it would, would be in a courtroom. Yeah. Um, and they were long, you know, long, long right. scenes. Um, but, but yeah. And as Naomi was saying, just that, you know, that feeling of walking into that courtroom, which was, I mean, credit to the designer because yeah. the, it, it literally does look like courtroom too at the old Bailey. And uh, I can't imagine what that actually feels like if, you know, in in real life, you know, walking into that dock. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Love the show. You were brilliant in it. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.